Okie dokie, so let's just do incredibly many tiny little readings of well, Halloween soon, but not incredibly soon. But let's see how for us witches, Samhain is, but for those that don't necessarily celebrate Samhain, let us see how Halloween will be and the like first of November kind of thing, like general kind of vibes for this like elemental science of earth air water fire of um Salwin, halloween november 1st kind of general time era time slot of us okay let us do air signs first so aquarius gemini and libra starfish open to infinite impossibilities Ah. Flamingo, embrace the in-between, which a lot of times Salwan is explained as like the veil thinning, so in-between. Ah, there's another one, okay. And then the panther, reclaim your power. So, Halloween for the air signs with the starfish. The flamingo and the panther. So, Halloween, Samhain, November 1st general area timeline will be like strong, empowering. That's what the vibe I'm getting off of. Um, and embracing the in between. So, like, it could be. Like polar opposites, it could also be like duality of stuff. Very much a duality is what I'm getting. So starfish open to infinite possibilities. So that also kind of ties into like the veil being a little thinner, usually around like Samhain and Halloween time. So that could mean that like you're gonna be able to commune with your like guides better if you have any guides, and then embrace the in between. So like embrace the like the in-between zone you might be getting into a very deep meditation and you might like kind of astral project into like the in-between not necessarily fully in the living world or like the spirit world but like somewhere in between and like embrace that that's okay it's not terrifying as long as you know how to bring yourself back and then reclaim your power being the panther also kind of talks about like obviously reclaiming your power, but panther is also like strength and it's black, so protection, because the color black is associated with protection. So it's like protect yourself, reclaim the power that maybe once was taken from you, or that um, like you haven't embraced yet because you feel insecure or whatever, which insecurities suck. Um, and just be open to new opportunities and new experiences. Starfish, a lot of times, when they get a limb cut off, they just can grow it back. So it's like, say, metaphorically, you have like a limb, a person in your life, or something that you've lost, you can like regrow it. It just will be very different than what you were expecting or what you think it should be, I guess. Like, it's not gonna be what you think it should be, but it will be there again it's just not gonna be exactly how you expect it to be so now let us do fire signs so sagittarius aries and leo let us see how Samhain slash halloween slash november 1st is going to be for the fire signs Rabbit. Oops. Starfish. Want to see. Ah. Ah. No, no, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. What's that one? Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. 
crazy. Hummingbird. Oh. The rabbit says, now is a lucky time. And the starfish says, open to infinite possibilities. And then the hummingbird says, be here now. So be in the, like, now. Be in the here and the now. So, for fire signs, Samhain, Halloween, November 1st kind of vibes is going to be a lucky time. So things will go the way that you want them to. If you have something planned for it or a spell or anything, that should go to your plan. It should go well. It should go exactly the way you want it to go. And then open to infinite possibilities. Yet again, um, Samhain a lot of times is described as the thinning of the veil between the spirit world and our world. So be open to possibilities of anything that you could imagine with that context. And then be here and now with the hummingbird. Hummingbirds are really small, really fast. So because of that, it kind of symbolizes that like just because something's small and fast doesn't mean that you shouldn't pay attention to it. So you need to like be present in the now, be here, be now, understand life now kind of. Live in the now instead of in the future or in the past. So don't dwell too much on what's the possibilities of the future. Plan it out, but don't dwell on it too much. And don't dwell too much on the past of like what could have been or something because you are here and now. You can only really affect now and you can affect the future, but the future, don't go too far ahead because then that's not always healthy. Of course, plan things and dream, but don't like have extreme expectations of how things are going to go in like 10 years because that's far reach. You can have a plan of like, well, in 10 years, I want to do this and have a goal. That's perfectly fine. But don't have like a full on like this is exactly how things are going to go because then that leaves a lot of closed mindedness and you need to be open to the infinity of any kind of possibility. But again, with the rabbit, you're going to have a lot of like abundance. That's the word I'm looking for. Abundance and luck. And everything with the rabbit card. So again, if you have like a spell working or something like that that you're doing on Samhain or Halloween plans or any kind of thing like that, it should go the way that you want it to. And life in general should go the way that you want it to, but just don't expect too much from life because you will have to be in control of your, like you're only in control of now, you're not necessarily in control of the future, except what you do now can affect the future. So don't have too many extreme expectations of exactly how things are going to go because that will just kind of break your heart. Let us do water signs. So Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Ooh, strap the cards. Okay. Let us see how Samhain, Halloween, and November 1st is going to be for the water signs. Water signs. You gotta give me something to work with. Come on, water signs. <laughs> They're being a little stubborn. Wow. Spider spirit, make your dreams a reality. Wow, that card. The rhino, overcome any obstacle.
The cat spirit. Claim your independence. So, um, spider imagery. It's not like scary, it's just still spider imagery. Okay, and now the rhino. And now the cat. Ah. So, the spider, obviously spiders spin webs. They have things all like planned out to a degree, but also they're spiders. Not like spiders aren't very diligent and things, but spiders usually symbolize a web of like things happening, plans or emotions, like just a web. So. There's different parts of your dreams that you want to make a reality and you just have to be a rhino, be strong, attack it head on, but don't hurt yourself. Rhinos are very smart. They know how to smack things without accidentally hurting themselves somehow. So, you know, you can achieve your dreams. You just have to overcome your obstacles and then claim your independence. I know it's really hard sometimes when you're going through rough things to not be independent to at least somewhat of a jury and it's there's no nothing wrong with being at least a little dependent on someone but being solely dependent on others to help you with things or to do things for you because you like feel like you can't when you can definitely do at least some things everyone can do some things for themselves even if you have like a disability where you can't really move all that much you still have abilities to help yourself and be there for yourself and have that ounce of independence even if you need someone else which is perfectly fine and valid you need to have that independence side of you to also be strong and have that independence enough to be confident enough in yourself to be able to overcome the obstacles that you that are standing in your way to achieve your dreams so if you are doing a spell working this Samhain or halloween or you're having plans or something and you dream and you hope that it's going to go well or something just overcome the like anxiety that you have about it which i know is very difficult but try to overcome that try not to think too much about it and just like enjoy yourself have fun and like be strong enough to be independent and confident enough in yourself that you will succeed in any kind of dream that you have or desire so just you got this essentially now last, but certainly not least, the Earth Signs. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Shuffle the cards. Three times the charm. So, how will things be for the Earth signs on Samhain, Halloween, November 1st? Mouse, tend to the small things. That card went flying. Ah, excusez-moi. And then the stag, take the lead. And then the crow, co-create with spirit. So, mouse, stag, and the crow. So, the mouse, tend to the small things. The stag, take the lead. The crow, co-create with spirit. So, this is very, like, Samhain kind of feeling, especially, like, co-create with spirit. Again, a thousand one times, a lot of people consider Samhain the thinning of the veil between the Earth world and the, like, spirit world. So, co-create with spirit kind of doesn't necessarily mean, like, create something if you don't really want to do a spell or anything like that. But, like, meditate, get in tune with spirit. Could be your own spirit, could be, like any kind of like spirit thing a spiritual thing could be like spirit in the sense of like the elemental kind of thing could be like a lot but it's just how you feel connected to yourself and to the earth and to just the spirit it could be the spirit of earth could be just a spirit in general so 
keep open mind with that, but whatever immediately resonates with you, that's more than likely going to be what's right for you. Just follow the intuition. So tend to the small things. So obviously there's big things in life, but sometimes there's the small little things that we need to tend to because we keep pushing them off and then they pile up. And then there's just a pile of tiny things that turn into this is a lot to deal with. So take the lead, do what you need to do to help like work towards the small things that you need to work with. Mice may be small, but a lot of people are afraid of them. And a lot of times they're harmless. Sometimes, yeah, they carry things, but a lot of times they're harmless. And a spirit or a guide or maybe even like your inner spirit or something will help you like do this. It will be in cooperation with you to help you tend to the small things in your life that a little more difficult that you don't really want to deal with because they're like, oh, it's nothing. It's, it is something. It's a lot more something than you think it is. So, you know, again, take the lead, take, take it by the bullhorns, even though this is a stag, you know, like take control over what's happening as best as you can. Obviously you can't control other people, but still like try to take control of what you can do and take control over the situation for yourself of what you can do in that situation for Samhain and Halloween and just tend to the small things. Maybe meditate a little bit, get in tune with spirit, get a guide to help you in some way, shape, or form. Get someone to help you, honestly. That sometimes helps, too. Instead of, like, a guide or something, because some people don't have those, which is perfectly fine. So that is how Samhain slash Halloween slash November 1st may possibly, the energy of it, may be for... or advice that you need or anything. For the signs so that is that YouTube subscribe pretty please if you liked any of what I said and you like readings also follow me on twitch because I do live readings for free in the mornings Deep.